have done 300 plus videos on GK tricks and in future I am going to upload more and more videos of GK aptitude reasoning and in, in English. Friends, I will cover complete course for free of cost. So please encourage me by subscribing to my channel. Friends, here you can see the subscription button. Exactly down the video, you can see the subscribe button. Here you can see the subscribe button friends. If you subscribe to my channel, you will get updates of my upcoming tricks. So please don't forget to subscribe. And friends, in the exactly down the video, here you can see the description. In the description itself, you can see the links of my previous videos. Topic wise, here you can see all the links of my previous videos. And friends, if you want to follow my tricks in Facebook and WhatsApp, here you can see the links in the description. Here you can see the links. Here you can see the links friends so please go through the links and you can subscribe to my words facebook or whatsapp and don't forget to subscribe if you subscribe you will get updates of my videos and friends please don't forget to share my videos thank you and today we are going to discuss about an apti topic and coming to this topic it plays a very important role in most of the banking exams. You know, I cannot see a question paper without this topic's question. And this topic has a wide range of question types. You know, I can simply ask a very basic questions or else I can ask a level 2 questions or level 3 questions. I can frame any kind of question which actually I need. And this topic has a very wide range of sections also because it is like I can ask questions based on simple work and time related thing. Or else I can ask questions on the number of men working, number of women working and the efficiency. Or else I can simply ask questions on basis of number of days they actually work. So this topic is time and work. So you might have guessed the topic from the introduction I gave to this one. So we are just going to discuss about the basics of this topic right now. And uh, to solve this kind of questions coming into this topic, we actually use a lot of methods. We actually have a fraction method and we have we have a LCA method and we have a, a method called as chocolate methods and we have we can use a lot of methods to solve this topic and right now we are just going to discuss which methods is very efficient and very which is very time consumption and which methods is very strong when compared to all the given problems and basically before going to, into the topic I just have to check whether this topic has a meaning how does time and work will vary to each other how does time and work is getting related to each other if time is increases what happens to work any clue? So now I'm just going to compare the two factors time and work and right from now you can think very practically because this is a very practical application topic. So you just think I have some 10 works to do. I have some 10 works to do and I can complete all the 10 works in one day. Got it? I have 10 works to do and, and I can complete all the 10 works in one given day. And if suppose my work is getting increases to say for example 20, what happens to time? What happens, what happens to time in a very practical manner? In one day, I can do 10 work. And if suppose I have 20 works, how many days I will take here? You got the answer. So this number of X days should be like, uh, it can be like higher than one day or less than one day or, or, or it can be of, of what cases? Good, it must be like higher than one day. Got it? And you just see what's practically happening here. What's, what's happening to work here? My work is getting increases. Good. My work is getting increases. And if my work increases, what happens to time generally? Time also will get increased. Good. And here the scenario is happening like my work is getting increases from 10 to 20 and time taken by me to complete that kind of works again take, taken from one day to some other higher than one day. Got it? So when works generally increases, time also will get increases. So on what proportion are they in? They are always, they will be in direct proportion. And this is the very first point you just have to keep in mind always coming for this topic. Got it? So when work increases, time also will get increases. So I can simply say that work and time are directly proportional to each other. Got it? When work increases, time will also get increases. And again, on the vice versa, when time increases, work also will get increases. Got it? Say for example, like, I have one day, I can do 10 work. If suppose I have 3 days, how many work I can do here? 30 work. Simple. So if time also increases, work also will get increases. On the, on the other pattern, what if, if my work is getting decreases? If I have 10 work to do, I can do it in one day and uh, right now I have only 8 work to do. Got it? Right now I have only 8 work to do and how many number of days, x days, I will take to complete the 8 work and that's my question and again you just compare in a very practical manner because as, it, as I told before this is a very practical application topic. So here what's happening to work? The work is getting decreases, it is getting decreases from 10 to 8, got it? 
and when work increases what happens to time in a very practical manner time also will get decreases that's good so the x value should be very less than one day so the time also will get decreases got it so if work increases time increases direct proportion and again if my work quantity is getting reduced again time also will get reduced so whatever the effect in work is there it affects the time also in the same proper if work is increases time increases work decreases it also will get decreases so what are changes happening in work it affects time in the same proportion and again coming to the very very main point it's like how can i find x value if suppose i have 5 over here i can simply say it as half day but here i have 8 days 8 work sorry so how can i find x value for finding x value i should do either two cases i can simply go for a cross multiplication or else i can go for a straight multiplication out of these two which is a very appropriate one to find the answer i should do cross or straight multiplication please remember this very very important point if any two objects are in direct proportion when they vary in a very direct proportion i should always go on doing the cross multiplication to get the answer and if suppose you are going for straight multiplication you won't get the answer for whatever the case may be got it so here i can simply find x value as 10 10 into x 10 into x equal to 8 into 1 so x equal to 8 by 10 so this is this could be my answer for the given number of questions simple i can i can i can again go for a factorization of this one so this simply becomes 4 by 5 of the days so i just i will just take 4 by 5 days to complete the remaining part of work got it so when this direct proportion always go for a cross multiplication and that's what you just have to do for this to this topic uh, as a whole of this topic and the second very important point is let's always start from the basics the basics of this topics always have a question like man day and work got it so what's maybe man day and work or woman day and work or boy day and work any number of persons you know and this topic has a question like i'm just seeing an example of a question i'm just uh, having a scenario like uh, there are 10 men got it it can be 10 men or 10 boys or 10 women or 10 girls anybody it's just a 10 members of that 10 persons is working for some 5 days it can be 5 days 5 weeks 5 months any number got it it's just the quantity is like the number of days they actually work 10 men working for 5 days can and again working for some uh, half like they work 2 hours per day got it they they are working for 2 hours per day and they can build a building they can build a wall which is a 100 meter in length this is my first case got it i'm just saying that 10 men they working for 5 complete days and they work only for 2 hours a day can build a wall of 100 meter length now the second scenario is like if the same work got it if the same work if building the same 100 meter of work is done by some lesser number of people for example let's take only 8 men are working now So only eight men or women or boys are working now, and again, if eight men are working on the same project, got it? And they work for some three days, but they work for five hours a day, got it? If they work in this case, what may what may be the length of the wall? And this is my question, got it? Ten men working for five days, take working for two hours can build hundred meter, and eight men. Three days, five hours. What's the length of the building? This this might be like very simplest question I can ask in this topic. And for solving this one, I just have to take take the this concept, and I will use this concept, and uh, and I simply go for this formula. I can take it as number of men into men or women or boys or girls into the days they have actually worked. So man day number of days they work again into again what's the hour they have taken? So man into day into hour divided by work. This is for this first set of people, and for again second set of people, I can go for the same concept. This is always equal to again number of men in the second case into days into hours divided by work. This is a very simple formula I can frame from the part of the proportion of time and work, and I can simply solve the answer. And here I can simply take number of men as here ten men, so I'll go for ten into and days is five days, five into. 2 divided by 100 meter 2 has and work for 100 meter this equal to number of new men is 8 men and number of new days is 3 days again has is 5 hours a day they can build 
x meter of length. So I can simply multiply them and cross multiplication can be done and I can get x value in a very stable manner. I can find the answer of x. That's it. So this plays a very important role when the work when the question is being asked on the man number of days and hours and in terms of length or in terms of work. That's it. And this work can be building length of the um, it, can, it can be like length of the building or it can be like some uh, some other work got it so you just have to do only this thing you know you just have the formula in mind man day hour divided by work will be always equal to man day hour divided by work that friends subscribe to watch upcoming tricks of very very important gk topics around 200 videos i am going to upload in future so friends get subscribed to get updates of my upcoming videos if you subscribe you will get the updates of my upcoming videos friends here you can see the subscription link click this box and get subscribed to my channel if you subscribe you can get updates of all my upcoming videos and follow my tricks on facebook whatsapp and telegram you can see all these links below in description friends see in description for complete list of videos topic wise still now i uploaded 300 videos you can see all the videos links and the topic wise below in description friends thank you please share my videos and don't forget to like and subscribe if you subscribe you can get updates of all my upcoming videos thank you have a nice day